not knowing is not an excuse. If you come to Canada, don't be doing any of that poop stuff or geese killing. Welcome my friends, so glad you could join me. My name is Wonka and today we're gonna be playing Farmer's Dynasty. And boy oh boy, did I do some special stuff for you guys. We got a fun one I think today. So, if you enjoy, if you want to see more, do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. And we're getting close to that giveaway, 1500 subs. I said I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna do it and we're real close. So if you've been on the fence, hey, click that button, you may even win something out of it. I will announce more details on it once we hit 1500 subscribers. But in the meantime, share, like, subscribe, ring bells, do all the things that every other YouTuber has told you to do for me. You know, don't do it for them, do it for me. Or do it for them too, you know, we, we, sharing is caring. But without further ado, that's enough announcements. Let's get right in, I hope you guys enjoy, and I think you will. All right, we just gotta do the do. The do. Now, um, hold on a second. I believe we can actually breed animals. I remember seeing this somewhere. Now, I don't know if that's implemented into the game yet, or what, but maybe we might need to think about buying some more cows. Who, who knows? Not me, that's for sure. Oh, look at this beautiful thing. It stayed, save to save, isn't that magical? Who would have thought something so magical could happen in Farmer's Dynasty? Now you might be thinking, this is just gonna actually, you're probably not thinking anything along those lines because you've probably seen the thumbnail. And you know what we're getting today. It's finally time. Finally time to eat a couple eggs. Oh, where's my vehicles? Did I leave my pickup truck at the place that has the tractor? If I did, I'm, I'm something of a genius. I have a feeling that I didn't though. This person has wanted their building fixed all day and they're hiding in their damn house. Calvin, Victoria, quit doing the nasty and get your butts out here. Or at least, let me watch. Hello? Boy, this is a muddy truck. It'd be nice if the wheel dirt carried over from save to save, but you know, picky picky, you know? You know. So I can't remember if it was this one right down the street here that has what we're looking for, but we're gonna, we're gonna look for it. Oh! Almost lost some stuff. Also, if you're wondering why this is here, I was gonna harvest this field for some money. But boy, money grinding in this game is a slow process. I assume if I like took all the fields that I've bought and stuff and then like planted them and then like fast forwarded days because you can like rest for like full weeks at a time that maybe it would balance out a little bit. You know, maybe it wouldn't be so long and grindy, but to wake up every day and to work for people and to harvest a field and stuff, whew. It's not, it's not super profitable. So we could buy Big Papa here, but Big Papa is old. I kind of want to buy new Mini Papa. And we can buy Big Papa later. If you guys want me to buy Big Papa, we'll have two tractors, all right? So I'm actually going to use the bus stop right over here and uh, keep my pickup truck over here because I think it's broken, by the way, gas-wise. It's still at 100%. I've been driving it around. Where am I going? Okay, here we go. So I think we want to go up here. I think this one might have what we're looking for. If you guess no, you win a prize. Someone wants me to plow their field. Ha! I don't need your chump change and social points anymore. Have I finally arrived? Yes! My beautiful, beautiful new tractor. Look at it. Just look at it. Oh, I'm so excited. 76,000 euro. Hell yeah. Yeah, party train. Party train. Party train. All right, it's over. Oh, look at this thing. It's stanced and everything. Comes pre-stanced. Oh, yes. Listen to it. Switch gearbox settings. Whoa. What happened? 
Okay, it lifted up there on the first time, but it was... I, I don't know. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Um, let's just take a look at the inside here, can we? Oh, oh yeah, it's got one hand on the shifter. Ready to rock and roll. Oh, he's got the little, the little knob thing. All right, let's do this. How fast does it go? We're going to drive it all the way home. Let's see how she does. Oh, it's already way faster. Already hitting 40. Almost. All right, now if we go CVT times 2, do we go faster? It feels kind of cramped in here. It feels like we're sitting kind of high. But it looks good. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, we're going to we're going to do a lot of farming with this. I tell you what. Whose field is this? Is this mine? I don't think so. But I plowed it for someone. I'm a nice guy. Oh, bridge over here. It drives good. It's quicker. Oh, this is going to be so much better. I'm going to miss the jack bear. But, oh my god, I'm excited for this thing. Open. Open. Alright, well, what we're gonna do is try out this tractor. Put it through the paces here. First, we're gonna hook it up to this manure. And we're gonna manure these two fields right here. With our brand new tractor. I don't know if the speed is gonna mean much. But, I'm excited. So, we gotta take this here. Oh, we're dropping... We're dropping manure. Oh, gross. Disgusting. Oh, that's all of our manure. That's literally all of it. So we can't be wasting this. This is a precious commodity. We need to buy more cows so that we can get more poop. So I'm going to just drive down the middle to maybe hopefully get an idea of how this thing spreads. Um, I assume it comes out the back. Alright, well, we're going to hit... Z and T. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. We're going so fast. We're going so fast. We're go. Oh, God. We're going so fast and not very straight. I'm trying to watch where the end is. And Z. Oh, my God. I need to push that a lot sooner. Oh, my goodness. How much manure did that use? I don't know. But it's 6% manured. Okay, let's uh, come over here. We're going to back up just a, a smidge of maru here. Alright, so maybe we're just supposed to like drive around the field like kind of like a Zamboni? I don't know. Let's let's try here. We're going to uh, start manure and go. Alright, we're just going to kind of drive through here as fast as we can. Just spread all the poop. Oh god, it looks so disgusting. I'm going to... I'm gonna get, it smells like, I'm gonna, just kidding. Did, did, was it believable? No, probably not. But, what else am I supposed to do while we spread poo? Alright, make jokes about how shitty this job is? <laughs> Got him. Alright, well, we're doing, we're doing the best we can. Hopefully we're not wasting too much. Oh my gosh, it looks like there's a lot of field here. Just keep driving around like a damn Zamboni with poo coming out the back. Oh, that would be terrible. If someone ever did that? That I, th I think that's a felony in Canada. To, to put poo in your Zamboni. I'm pretty sure it's illegal. You can't kill goose, geese, gooses. And, um, you also can't put poop in the back of Zambonis. So, now you know. Not knowing is not an excuse. You come to Canada, don't be doing any of that poop stuff. Or geese killing. You just gotta wait for the geese to fly north, and then you can kill them in America. If you really want. <laughs> oh, it's so terrible, but it's true. It's 100% true. I'm going to try and loop around and do this. I mean, I, I might not be 100% like making the most out of this, but I'm doing my best, all right? Oh my god, we're already down to 3% manure. 
Oh my god, I better put something good in this damn field. Holy crap. Well, we're just gonna try and spread as much as we can. Just finish it off, I guess. Wow, I did not think it was gonna be like that insane. But it's gonna run out pretty soon. Hopefully it'll give us a nice yield. Imagine doing this with the Jack Bear too. It'd probably run out even faster because the thing's so damn slow. There we go. That's it. This little patch is not done, but what can you do? It's 58% done. That's it? That's all that that got me? Jeez. We need some more cows, clearly. Well, let's put that there, I guess. And we will uh, grab the fertilizer over here. Now, can it be fertilized and manured, like, early? Because I'm not supposed to plant until September. And it may or may not be a little earlier than September. Alright, well, anyway, let's just uh, turn this thing on. And we'll start making our way downtown. Going fast. I don't know if going too fast is a bad thing. I mean, when I use the cruise control, it just goes, like, top speed. So, I don't think it's one of those machines that needs to be driven at a certain speed like other ones have in the past um, but yeah so let's just go top speed and just try and spread this fertilizer on top this field better give me a good yield because I am being very very generous oh my god okay it comes way out here we're good I think it's really hard to see what you have and haven't fertilized but I'm just gonna kinda do a quick little pass through fertilize maybe not all of it but a good amount at the very least um, it really could use a little bit more of an identifiable way of saying like hey this has been fertilized I can kind of see it though and I guess at the end of the day if you can kind of see it it's good enough I don't know oh I think I'm done pretty much maybe I'm gonna call it how much did I do 53% bull I call bull well it's kind of fertilized let's try this one see if maybe I can see it a little easier I know it spreads out a bit to the left and right which is why I'm not driving too too close to the sides there maybe also I'm supposed to drive a little slower so it has time to get each area that I'm going past maybe I'm going past areas a little too quickly I don't know but I'm also trying not to waste any fertilizer like I probably wasted my manure or whatever what can you do it seems like it covers quite a good area you just probably gotta drive a little slower to actually I don't know I have no idea but whatever as long as it's a little bit fertilized even if it's not max fertilized it'll give us a greater yield and at the end of the day, too, I'm just having some fun with my new tractor. That's all I care about. Fertilizer is, you know, something we could be a little more loose with over the manure because we can just purchase it. To my knowledge, you cannot purchase manure. So, definitely going to be worth it to probably get a few more cows. It's a little easier to see when you don't manure your field first what you have and haven't fertilized. So maybe fertilizer should come first and manure last such is the order and the container is empty we got 90 percent though and this field is 53 58 not as good but we can try and go over it again with some more fertilizer fertilizer i can just like i said purchase whenever i want so these two fields are more or less ready for seeds but i don't think i'm supposed to plant seeds quite yet Hopefully that fertilizer and manure can last seven days because that's how long I need it to last until the next bit. But yeah, essentially this is going to make everything a lot easier traveling from point A to point B. Whenever we take hay or grains anywhere, it's going to be ten times faster, a hundred times more fun, less frustrating like you wouldn't believe. And you know what? I'm excited. Let's see if we can catch the crane now with our new high-speed tractor. We're going to get you. We're going to... No. 
Damn it. Got away this time. So I'm just heading on back to the machinery place because I kind of want to get something new for my tractor, you know? A new little a new little upgrade for it, if you will. Attachment, accessory, you know, whatever whatever you want to call it. We're we're going to get it right here right now. Also, if you want, you can choose the color of our brand new tractor. It does not have to be red. This is just how it came. Um, but seeing as it currently is red, I think I know what I'm gonna buy. 16,000 euros, not much at all. We can get the big grain trailer that matches our little red tractor. Now, I don't know if we can paint grain trailers. We could sure as heck try. If you guys wanna change the color of the tractor and you wanna paint the trailer to match, we could do that. But look at this. We got a new little toy for our new little toy. Oh, it's gonna hold so much grain. It looks so good. Oh, these new vehicles, new updated. And I know that thing in the back is not a vehicle, but you know what I mean. Oh, it's gonna be great. It kind of ruins the camera. Oh, there we go. We can go to this camera. It's a little better. Can't really see the tractor anymore. It's a big trailer. Very, very big trailer. Now, if we switch. Ah, okay. So it's kind of like high range and low range, basically. When we're in the low range and towing something, we'll have more torque probably, but, you know, we, we lose a little bit on the top speed. But once we're rolling, we could switch it over to the CVT2 and cruise. It'll help us with the heavier trailers going up hills and stuff like that for sure. And I mean, I know we're still not going super fast. I mean, for those of you that don't know, this is like school zone speeds. It's 40 kilometers per hour. Like this is, this is about as slow as we go. And the only reason you ever go this fast is well, because you don't want to harm any children in a school zone, but also because you don't want the ticket. Construction zones are sometimes 40 as well. So yes, we're going slow, but this is double the speed that we were originally going, basically, almost. So that in itself makes a huge difference. All right, so I'm just going to purchase myself some fertilizer. Here it is. We'll just get as much as we can, a thousand euros worth of fertilizer. Just so we can fertilize all of our fields, we can only get so much manure, but you know. Well, we're right down the street from that field that I was going to buy. I don't know if I actually did buy it or not, but oh, what the heck? Oh, look at that. I'm dumping. Even though, oh God, we ran into a pole. It's okay. We're good. Oh my God, that thing goes so tall. Oh, I just want to drive around like this now, though. This is funny. Man, the wheels on this thing and everything. This, this thing is huge. The exhaust is clipping through it and everything. Like this thing is bad ice. The tractor body seems to stay pretty clean. The tires seem to pick up most of the dirt. So I don't think it was this field. I think it was the other field because this is corn. Which isn't a bad thing. I mean, we haven't done a cornfield yet. We could if you want. If you ch if you so choose, we'll do a cornfield. But I'm just going to leave it over here. Right by this field. Alright, see you later, new toy. I'm off to play around a bit more with my other new toy. Oh, look at that suspension just dealing with the plowed field. Like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. Bouncing around a little bit, but like it's nothing. Oh, forgot this tractor is a little taller than other ones. Sorry, new tractor, still get, still getting used to it. Oh, a chest. I thought it was a pig. I was trying to sneak up on it, but it's a chest. Ooh, golden ring. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Thank you. I appreciate that. Whoever left that chest there, you're my new hero. Oh, just a barrel. A barrel of fun. Just kidding, it's probably not very much fun. So, you might be wondering what the hell I'm doing. And you'll see when I get there, alright? Or when I find what I'm looking for. 
There was something I completely forgot to mention that was added in the update. And I figured now that we have our newer, faster, more impressive tractor, that we could just go take a quick little gander for it. Now what we want to find is like animals hanging out in the forest. Which we got one here. So maybe. Just maybe. Ha ha! I found one! We got mushrooms. I picked it. I picked the mushroom. Now I know what it looks like, too. Hey, Bambi, you hiding any mushrooms over here? <gasps> you are. You sneaky little deer. So yeah, there's some mushrooms that we can go around, pick up. Um, I believe there's also some wild strawberries. So, so I've been told. Um, not sure if they're in season. Not sure if they're actually in a bush or what. But yeah, if you come out to these kind of foresty, wildernessy areas where the animals like to hide, you might get lucky enough to find a strawberry or a mushroom. Or a chest with a gold ring. I mean, hey, they're all accepted here. What are all these rocks up here for? There's like a little path and everything. What is this? This is my future mansion spot. I'll take it. Looks pretty good. I don't see any more mushrooms or strawberries. I was kind of hoping to find a strawberry. But... At least I found the mushroom. See, at least now I know what the mushroom looks like, so it's going to be a lot easier to find. Look at this one. <gasps> Look at it. Isn't it adorable? I wish I could find a strawberry. That would be cool. But maybe one day. We'll go on a strawberry hunt. If you guys really want to see a strawberry. But we got mushrooms. Which we can sell. Or eat. And find out later what happens. So I'm going to quickly take these over to old John. <gasps> Strawberries. Mmm, delicious. Oh my gosh, look, more mushrooms. So many mushrooms. Not a lot of strawberries, but I found a strawberry bush. And I'm pretty proud of that. It was literally like right next to my tractor, which is pretty funny when you think about it. But there you go. We've done it and we almost caught the crane. Now the question is going to be, how much does this stuff sell for? And is it worth even going to find? Now your, your wife will actually cook food. And I'm also excited to see if the cooked food sells for more. For example, she could cook eggs all day. And we could sell eggs for more, the bonus eggs that we don't eat, to John. You know, another another way to make some money. Maybe she'll make stuff out of the strawberries and the mushrooms as well. It seems like the next logical step for us is we're going to have to go put a ring on it. So um, stay tuned for that. We got a new tractor, which how could the ladies resist? John, you're looking so good in this tractor. Look what you did, John. I have the hiccups. All right. $3.60 for six mushrooms. 70 cents for some strawberries. You, sir. Hey, what? How'd you get taller? I'm still not afraid of you, John. I'm going to whoop your ass one of these days. I tell you what. So there it is. That's the tractor. Let me know what color you guys want to see it in. Um, if you want to see the other tractor, we could do kind of a comparison, a head-to-head. -head. Or if there's any other machinery you guys want to check out, anything else in the game that you're interested in seeing, let me know in the comments below. Because that's it, folks. If you guys want to see more, do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me that comment down below. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. And remember, home is where the heart is. Or at least where you're most comfortable taking a sh- <laughs>
Make sure you hit that like button, because if you guys hit the like button for me, lots of good things happen, okay? And we can grow and do giveaways and, like, subscribe and all that good stuff, okay? Take a easy. <laughs>